MJ4, more local news now. A rare chance to see a stealth bomber up close, even for Milwaukee's 128th Air Refueling Wing. Jesse Ricca got to ride along and shows us the stunning sight. We're about to head up with the 128th Air Refueling Wing as they head up to go refuel a B-2 stealth bomber. Kind of rare for us today. And a unique opportunity for us to ride along and share this spectacular view from the sky. Quickly after takeoff, we punch through the clouds, but the crew members of this KC-135R can't bask in the sunshine for long. There's a lot of operational necessity for us to be doing this, um, things that we have to do throughout the country and the world uh, in defense of the country, and that's typically when what all this is for. So flying at 530 miles per hour is a normal thing for these two pilots. So if you guys want to pull it back to uh, slow down, help you guys out a little bit. But at the task of refueling a B-2 stealth bomber, and the flying is a bit harder. The trickiest part is making sure that they come in nice and slow. We don't want to hit each other. And then the radios, there's a lot of radio chatter going on so we can coordinate who's where and if something goes wrong. And at the back of the strato tanker, boom operator Tony White has another difficult task. Tony up. He has to guide the fuel boom to just the right position, helping the B-2 stealth bomber refuel. Trying to get the nozzle into the receptacle of the boom, especially the larger planes are more challenging because they kind of push the boom around. So. But as soon as they disconnect, he can breathe a little easier. The entire process down here is a relatively quick one because the fuel is flowing at about 6,000 pounds per minute. On your side, flying 29,000 feet above Colorado, Jesse Ricca, today's TMJ4.